Summers bring moderating temperatures and rain, along with mosquitoes and other biting insects. Aided by the warmer weather and the effects of the sun, the glacial ice begins to melt. In the summer season, the glacier sheds some of its winter weight in a calving process. The calving produces offspring, or what we call icebergs. During all seasons, there is the risk of the taku winds, extremely high winds that occur suddenly. These destructive winds are created by the wind tunnel effect of the enclosed valley. The trees have all fell to the south, and it's the same way it my cabin, they, the wind was a taku uh, tornado, a uh, tornado force that come down because it, it, you know, it blew down trees that were a couple hundred years old. Despite the dangers of traveling into this country, George Baker has been running this river for 43 years. During that time, he has shared this special place with a lot of friends. And in fact, he told one friend about 12 acres of land that was for sale near the river. Perhaps George's friend was enticed by the river stories that George told, because he bought the land sight unseen and built a cabin there. His name was Jim DeHart. Jim DeHart, oh. He borrowed my boat and, and built the cabin. And then, in appreciation, he was going to take me. <laughs> take me up the river, and he did. I had a moose spotted uh, across in, in uh, Fish Creek. Jim, you know, he's a real neat guy. So he had breakfast dishes, and he's going to wash those dishes, and I'm trying to get him out the door because I'm pacing back and forth. Oh, so we get going, and we take his boat and, and a small skiff to go over the beaver dams, and so we, we beach the boat and drag the skiff up to the beaver dams and pushing it over to the first beaver dam. <laughs> we heard three shots. <laughs> So that was our moose, and we went. <laughs> that was the only only bull we we had, you know, we, we were aware of in the country. So we we went home without that moose. River runners George and Jim were to have many memorable adventures on the Taku. The stories that Jim DeHart told of his river experiences fueled the imagination of his young grandson. It would not be long before Grandfather Jim would be teaching Grandson Jim the things important for wilderness survival in this river valley. Young Jim was taught the fundamentals of survival, how to use a firearm safely, the best places to fish for supper, how to identify the various animals by sight, sound, or by the tracks they left. Grandfather would teach Grandson many lessons in this magical place. Perhaps the one lesson that thrilled the young boy the most was learning how to run a boat up and down the narrow and shallow creek near their cabin. Young boy hasn't had a lot of adventure at that point in my life. I was in awe of, of everything that he was and he could do no wrong in my eyes. And, and we bounced off a few sandbars that scared me quite, quite, quite a bit. And so in every aspect, it was, it was just a grand adventure for me. And I guess those positive, those, those very positive impressions at, at such an early age um, are really what drive me now to continue to come back up there. The lessons taught and the lessons learned by both grandfather and grandson would create a strong bond between the two, leaving each with treasured memories of their time together in the Taku River Valley. <laughs>